good morning, everybody. August the 19th, uh, day 13. Can you believe it? Day 13 of 21 days of prayer and fasting. Uh, so thankful for all of you that have been a part of this. Good morning, Miss Kathy Wise. You are the first name to pop up on the screen this morning. So good morning to the Wise family. Glad to see you this morning. Um, thank you so many of you jumping on right now. Miss Marie, good morning. Teresa Carney, good morning. Uh, glad to see you guys. Thank you for getting up on a Saturday. Um, Miss Mary, Miss Susan, good to see you guys this morning. Good morning, Miss Ruth. <coughs> Excuse me. Good to see you. Mike Lynch, glad to have you guys on this morning. As others are coming on, uh, make sure you grab your journal. Good morning, Miss Tina. If you don't have a journal, I always remind everybody. Simon, good to see you, my friend. Uh, Lynn Lynch, good to see you. Um, grab your journal, uh, Miss Shirley. If you don't have a journal, cotlakes.com under resources, you can download one there. Good morning, Bethany, Sam, Gene Haynes. See you guys all there. Uh, good morning, Mel. Good to see you, my friend. Uh, Peggy Oaks, one of my fellow travelers. We'll be traveling together soon with a group to Israel. Uh, so be praying for that group as that is preparing to go to the Holy Lands. Pray for Pastor Doug leading that group. Good morning, Ken, Lizzie. Good to see everybody this morning. Miss Julie, glad to see you as well. I'm very excited to uh, talk about uh, this morning uh, because this morning, um, well, before I go there, let me remind us, you know, two big focus that we've had. I see you have in post one of our young people up at 5 a.m. on a Saturday. Very proud of you, young lady. Um, our focus for this 21 days has been the word. We, we're, we're trying to get into our word and, and find, if you don't have a reading plan, get into a habit. <clears throat> One of the things I, I never want 21 days to be is just an event. I want it to be a catalyst. So my desire and hope is that those of you who do not have reading programs, develop reading programs because of this, this, um, this diligence that you've put in to get up early and to be a part of this or to do this later in the day, that you'll carry it forward. So, so we want to make sure we're in our word, but also that we've got some kind of reading plan to stay in our word. Uh, here's the question. What are you going to do on day 22? Uh, so when I don't pop up on the screen at 5 a.m. on day 22, what are you going to do? So the word and the other one is serve. How, how can we serve other people? And so today it's cool because our, our people that we are serving are people who serve. Uh, we want to pray this morning for volunteers. And, and I specifically use that word at Church of the Lakes. We use the term dream teamers for ours, our people that serve. But I, I specifically want to talk about volunteers from this aspect. Anytime you do something for someone else without compensation, I'm going to call that being a volunteer. Uh, so just because you don't show up on somebody's database uh, does not mean you are not volunteering. When you go next door and help your neighbor, let's consider that volunteering. Um, that in some way that you serve or, um, or love on someone else, uh, we want to pray for people that do that. Because in this world, I have found, and I don't know if you, or you have the same experience, but I have found that serving others sometimes... Um, can get frustrating. Serving others sometimes can get um, where it feels like nobody's noticing. Um, and that, um, and, and, and so I want to read this verse this morning to you from Hebrews that's in, in your journal there, Hebrews 6 and 10. God is not unjust. He will not forget your work and the love you have shown him as you helped his people and continued to help them. Uh, so I want to encourage you this morning that you, um, you're serving someone else, you're loving someone else, does not go unnoticed. Sometimes um, serving can be a thankless job. Sometimes serving can feel like uh, it's pushed aside or it's, it's, it's maybe even in an entitlement situation where they feel entitled so they don't appreciate it as much as maybe they should. Um, but I also want to balance that with Matthew 6, 1 through 4. Let me read these verses to you. Be careful not to practice your righteousness in front, of, in front of others to be seen by them. If you do, you will have no reward from your Father in heaven. Boy, that's a scary verse. So when you give to the needy, do not announce it with trumpets as hypocrites do in the synagogue and on the streets to be honored by others. True did I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you give to the needy, 
Do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your giving may be in secret. Then your Father, who sees what you've done in secret, will reward you. Um, I just I just want you to hear your notice this morning. I, I just want you to hear that God notices the little stuff that no one else notices. That he is paying attention, that he sees the simple little way that you serve your spouse and your spouse never notices. The simple way that you serve your children and, and, and your children, goodness gracious, don't notice until they're about 40. Um, right? The simple way that you serve your community, your neighborhood, the things that you do, God is paying attention. Matter of fact, let me go back to our verse in our journal. And the first little part says, God is not unjust. He's just. He is paying attention to everything. He is paying attention to every little detail. Um, look at look at Deuteronomy 32, 3 through 4. I will proclaim the name of the Lord. Oh, praise the greatness of our God. He is the rock. His works are perfect and all his ways are just. A faithful God who does no wrong, upright and just is he. Man, I just, there may be times when a believer might feel dejected or, or overwhelmed um, in all that he or she does for, for, for the cause of Christ. Some may feel like they're spinning their wheels. Uh, sometimes your efforts feel kind of futile. The moment we begin to feel that way, we must readjust our attitude by remembering that the Lord is the one we are really serving, right? It, it is for him and for his glory. I've gotten to the point in my older age I've I struggled a lot as a younger man and, and as a young person wanting to get noticed and, and wanting to feel significant, right? I've, I've gotten to the point now that when somebody notices or they want to give a, a, an award of some sort or notice what you do, it kind of makes me cringe because I think of that verse. I think I don't want my reward here. I, I, don't, I don't want my reward in front of men. I want my reward for eternity. Come on, y'all, because God is just and and he will um well let me keep going with this verse because the next part says he will not forget your work he will not forget what you are doing god will reward you well god can reward you way better than anything on this planet or anything that man may give you any dollar figure god will remember all the work that you do and he rewards us much more than we deserve i don't know if you've ever thought about it this way but God's God rewarding us, that's ridiculous. That, that's absolutely ridiculous. We, we, are, we are sinners, um, and, and our reward is, going, is being saved by grace. That, that is our reward. But God goes so far in his word to tell us that even, even though we already have the reward of eternity, he will reward us for the things that we do. Um, that, that's, that's just, for me, mind-boggling, right? There's the story, many of you remember, that Jesus told a parable about a man traveling to a faraway country. He had delivered goods to his servant to be invested while he was away. And this speaks of Jesus going to heaven and then returning one day. And Jesus says to the faithful servant, Matthew 25, 21, his master replied, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share in your master's happiness. One more verse I want to read you this morning as, as I'm hoping to encourage uh, volunteers or people that are serving somewhere and maybe you're feeling like nobody's noticing. I'm just reminding you, God's paying attention and God's noticing. There's a, there's a part in 1 Peter uh, where 1 Peter tells elders of the church uh, to be careful about the way they lead and, and how they don't lord over and all this. But then he says this, to everyone that he's writing to, which would include us, 1 Peter 5, 5, all of you, clothe yourself with humility towards one another because God opposes the proud but shows favor to the humble. For those of you who are serving somewhere and nobody has saying, said thank you, for those of you who are doing what feels like a thankless service in some way, I need you to hear God is paying attention this morning. And he is going to reward you, and he is not unjust. So as you hear that for yourself this morning, let us turn our focus today to 
paying attention to others who are serving. Um, and let's pray for them. Let, let's pray that they their attitudes get shifted to encouragement because they understand that God sees what they're doing. Um, let, let's, uh, let's uh, in, in a simple way, let us maybe reward being careful, understanding the scripture that we heard. Uh, but everybody who rocks a baby in the nursery, uh, everybody who parks a car, um, everybody who was serving at the football game a couple of nights ago, um, the, 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 that we had the opportunity to serve Leesburg High School, those of you who are serving your children in your home, your, your, your spouse, um, man, let's, whoever you can think of today that you know is, is serving someone, would you take some time now and would you pray for them, pray for their encouragement, pray for that God would remind them uh, that he is paying attention and he will reward them. All right, let me pray for you, get out of the way and let you pray for others. Hopefully you're encouraged this morning um, in God's word. Father, we thank you for those who serve. There are, there are so many people that serve each day and nobody notices the, the small stuff. Nobody notices the guy who decides to stop and pick up the trash on the side of the road. Uh, but we pray for him today or her. Uh, people don't notice the, the small kind things sometimes that are done. But for those who volunteer, God, who, who do things without compensation, who do things just to be loving and kind, we pray for encouragement today. Uh, we pray that they would remember today. And, and God, would you, would you give them a breath of fresh air today? Just that you notice what they're doing. You're paying attention to them. And God, would you help us to adjust our attitudes? Those of us who've gotten maybe a little hard-hearted or, or a little grumbling in the way that in our serving, that we remember you are just, you pay attention to us, and you reward. Jesus, thank you that, that you would be willing to reward and love us and that you are that kind of a God. And we just pray it all today in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Man, go and uh, and pray for somebody today uh, who is serving others. And don't forget, God's paying attention.